undue interest in the confession made is from a big, deeper problem in that person. This happens in counseling. The counselor wants to know the details of certain problems. Unnecessary questions. Remember, a counselor does not need to know the problem and he will never know the problem. He will never know the problem because the counselee has a background which causes the problem for that. Even if the counselee shares, this is my problem, the counsellor will never comprehend it fully. So you don't need to know. The only person who needs to know the problem is the counsellee. All that you can do is help the person to find out the problem. So the only question you can ask is, what is your problem? And if he says, this is my problem, you can say, ask, is that your problem? So slowly that person finds out what is the problem. And then, when he says, this is my problem, usually the counsellor will redirect you to other problems. Somebody's problem, somebody's problem. Bring the counsellor back, what is your problem? If he multiplies many problems, say what is the most important problem. Ask the counsellor to stay with one problem. If he says this is my problem, ask the counsellor to rephrase and say what is the problem so that the person understands very well this is my problem and accepts it. <coughs> Healing can happen only when the counsellor sees the problem and agrees that is my problem. Addiction with alcohol can be healed only the person accepts I am addict. Most of them will not accept their addict. After knowing that the person knows the problem, there will be great release in that person, I know another problem. Then you can ask, what is the step you can take to solve the problem? Counselor should never suggest answers. Because you do not know whether he will be able to take it or not. The stock cancers are of no use. So, he says, I don't know what to do. Counselee may say, I don't know what to do. Don't press, don't force. Is there any small step that you can take? May I say that I, I can pray. Have you been doing this? Yes. Has it produced any answer? No. Do you want to pursue the same method? No. Then what will you do? I don't know. What simple step you can take? I think I can call that person on the phone. Can you? Yes, I think. When? Next Wednesday. Shall I remind you whether he have done it on Wednesday? Yes, please. Next Wednesday, you remind, ask whether. No, I didn't do it. When are you going to do it? Okay. That's all. He knows the problem, he knows the answer, he takes. The moment the person 
sees what is the problem, he will know the answer also. He need not even go to a person. You yourself can ask, what's my problem? In this issue, what's my problem? The presence of the counsellor is only to intercede for that person. Pray that the Spirit may open up, help, and he will be willing to listen to the Spirit. Do not burden the counsellor with your answers. They cannot even take it. That's what Pharisees were doing, laying up burdens on them. They will not even lift it with their little finger. 